Hello, I am getting ready to go camping at O'Neill Regional Park in Orange County, California in Topanga Canyon, I believe. Tri no, it's Tribuco Canyon. I was close. But first, I'm going to go to one of my favorite places to go before I go camping. And it is the 99 cent only store. I love going there. I get my ice. I get all the things I need to get before I go camping. And I will see you at the campsite. So a little change in plans today. I went over to O'Neill Regional Park and they have been closed down for a couple days because they're doing some kind of renovations with the pavement. They're not going to be open um, until this weekend. So um, they gave me a list of places I can go and I decided to come to a place I've never been before called Casper Regional Park. So right now I am cooking um, Pollock Patty. I got these at the 99 cent store. They were not 99 cents. They were $3.99 but they're wild caught, no GMO type things. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. You got four of them in vacuum sealed packages. And I'm cooking vegan mac and cheese. Um, I'm not vegan, obviously. I'm eating the fish, but I do have a little bit of a issue. Ooh, look at that. That's good. With dairy. Um, since I had um, C. diff last year. So I don't eat it very often. It's very seldomly that I eat dairy because I have to take like these lactose pills and a bunch of enzymes and stuff. So, so this is the meal I made. It is a Pollock patty, um, non-GMO, non, you know, farm raised. It's it was wild caught and um, vegan mac and cheese. Not the healthiest thing in the world, but um, I have to tell you guys. So I went to the doctor. Today. I'm going to start talking about my real life on here because I think that would help more people than just like me going to all these wonderful places and talking about how awesome they are. So I'm going to still do those things, but I'm going to talk about my real life and get a little bit more personal here because I think people actually appreciate that when you do that, when you share your story because it can help other people. So I went to the doctors today and I was actually scared because she said, you need to come in. There's something on your test results that um, we need to talk about. And I'm like, crap, because I've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and lupus. And I have a couple other health conditions that I have been diagnosed with. I don't say I have them. I say I've been diagnosed with. I don't label myself with these things, but they are things I have been diagnosed with in the past. So I come in and she's like, your blood work looks great. Oh my God, your cholesterol is like a 20 year old. Your blood sugar is perfect. Your inflammation's down. Your, uh, what is it? The ANA for the, I don't know exactly what that means, but it's for the lupus marker uh, is non-existent right now. And it, it contributes to how I eat. It really does. I really eat well. I take supplements. I do diatomaceous earth in the morning. I'll kind of go through my regimen in the morning for those that are interested. But my blood pressure's high. And that's, you know, a little concerning for me that my blood pressure's high. So I do want to um, start eating um, a little better. I eat pretty well. I don't eat much all day. I kind of do like, because I had those stomach issues for a long time. Um, I, I was diagnosed with C. diff and then ulcerative colitis. I do bone broth in the morning. I eat a banana maybe two hours after that. And then maybe an hour or two after that, I eat an avocado and then I do dinner. And I kind of just let myself go with dinner. I'm like, I'm gonna have to bleep that out if I want to monetize it. Anyways, um, I barely eat all day and I eat foods that just kind of resonate with my stomach and I want to eat like some crap food sometimes. Well, my blood pressure is high, so I'm going to have to make a few changes and that's fine. I'd rather do that than get on blood pressure medication. So it's just going to be a part of my journey and I might share it with you guys and um, maybe you can give me some tips and tricks that you've use to lower your blood pressure. I'd really appreciate it. And right now I'm going to enjoy this tasty, delicious mac and cheese meal and enjoy it and not feel guilty about it because I packed up all the stuff before I went to the doctors. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, I woke up, um, took my diatomaceous earth. I'll tell you a little bit more about that on another video when I talk about 
my nutritional needs. And um, got dressed, put on a little makeup. Gotta have a cute face when you camp. I don't know why, I still gotta do it. It's just my thing. And I realize there are tons of bees here. So a little tip what I do when there's a lot of bees. First of all, I love bees. Please do not kill them. They do so much for this planet. They pollinate all of our food, our plants. We need them. Do not kill them. Even if they sting you, who cares? It's not that big of a deal. Unless you're allergic, then I can understand that. But if you use incense, like I am here, right at your door, these are wearing out, which is good because I'm getting ready to take off for a little bit. Um, they won't come in. They don't like smoke. So uh, just get some incense and burn them by any opening in the van. And it's going to be kind of a warm day today. It's going to be about 85 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pack what little I have out there into the van and go to the day use area and check out this new campground. I'm really excited and I'm excited to take you guys along. So I got out of the car because I think I just found white sage. Let me smell it. I think it is. It doesn't smell like it though. I don't know. I don't think that's it. Until you came, I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I was speechless when we first met. So I made a decision. This is where I'm going to stay for the day. Life was dull until you came. Now I see you. enjoy my morning. So I ended up not staying at Casper Regional Park for the two days that I um, had planned to. And the reason being is um, I had somewhere to go like the next day and it was kind of early in the day. And also the bees were just out of control there. I love bees, but I mean, there was about a 50% chance of getting stung which is true when you're just walking around on the street because it's either a yes or a no, you're gonna get stung 50-50 chance. But um, I'm not allergic to bees, but it, it was just a lot, it was overwhelming. So when I was leaving, I was talking to the ranger and she told me that the bees are more towards the front of the campground. If I went further back, there's not as many because um, they kind of like the meadowy area out there. So um, I'm gonna probably head back next week and maybe get a back campground. I was already packed up, so I didn't stay. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was my winter refrigerator. You could see that on my um, van build video, which is my very first video on this channel. Uh, my winter refrigerator crapped out. So this is it. You can see my front panel is off right now. Um, it now I know it wasn't working properly the entire time because I got a new one and I know you guys are thinking why would you get a new one when you knew that it broke. I've not seen very many bad reviews on these refrigerators and also I had a really bad shocks for the first five months that I had this fan and everything rattled back here. So I think it was just either bad out of the box or all of that rattling created something, um, created damage inside the refrigerator. But I know now from having this fridge, which is the same exact fridge that is working properly, that the fridge that I had before was never running properly because this one barely takes any battery draw off my battery where the other one was constantly drawing off my battery. So I'm really happy with my second purchase of this refrigerator. If it ends up breaking quickly, like I think it broke in six, six or seven months, if it ends up breaking very quickly, I won't get it again. And the reason I haven't gotten the Dometic refrigerator is because the Dometic, um, it doesn't open like this one does. It opens just like this panel opens where the Dometic opens, oh, it's hard to do it with the camera. The Dometic opens like this way. 
so it wouldn't open all the way. So if I have to get another fridge, um, I probably won't get a fridge. I'll end up getting one of those really, really nice coolers that cost like $500 and just put ice in it. So I'm hoping this one works. So it's working out really well so far. Um, a couple other things. This is kind of a long rant. Um, I did go to Burning Man and I also went to the Renaissance Fair in Big Bear weeks ago and I have not put those up yet. This is going to go up first and then I'm going to be putting up those um, two videos sometime during this week. So I just wanted you to be aware that I haven't forgot about you. I was a little bummed because I did lose about 50% of my footage at Burning Man. I don't know how I lost it. Um, I'm not using that um, file card anymore. I think that's what it's called, memory card. I'm not using the memory card anymore. I'm going to be, I'm using a new one. So um, there's still lots of cool things on it. So I'll be posting that. So until next time, see you later. Peace.